Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to the latest episode of Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco. Once again, a big, big thank you to each and every one of you who joined or rewatched the reggae stream from Friday. We enjoyed it very much and don't worry, there will be a second episode coming up. As soon as soon I have the date for you, I'll let you know. This week we will be featuring music. What have these songs in common? Strange Fruit by Billie Holiday. I Want Your Sex by George Michael. Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Let's Get Physical by Olivia Newton-John. And don't forget a disco classic, Love to Love You Baby by Donna Summer. They all got banned from the radio. And what else do they have in common? Well, they became all major hits. So how did music became a smashing sensation for a hit that got banned from the radio and why Christine Wilcher, who is the leading lady of the group as she arranged, co-wrote and sang in the group, is still mad at the record companies about the cover of the record. We'll discuss this after the needle drop. <laughs> In the 70s, there was a short period of time when you put on the word disco on a record, it sold more copies. It doesn't matter what the content was. There was also a time when record labels thought, well, if we have producers who are able to deliver a record in a short period of time, the so-called low budget project, we can even cash in some more. And one of these producers, highly talented and master at the mixing board, was Patrick Adams. He had acquired a few projects which became very successful. Because less studio time, less time for the engineers and less time for the musicians and singers in the studios meant way less cost. Perfect mixture for the record companies. So Patrick Adams created quite a few projects. For example, Keras, and you can see this is a Patrick Adams production brought on his own label by PAP. I can highly recommend this record if you're into late 70s dance music. This is absolutely a way to go. Keras by Patrick Adams. We have the great group Pussy which is also one of those projects by Patrick Adams. It features the singers Jocelyn Brown and Christine Wilshire. We get to Jocelyn Brown a little better. Then we do have featured artists of today, music. And um, this is the German cover art you see up here. I show you the stickers. Let me put this to make it safe for you guys. It features In the Bush and In the Bush was one of those tracks that got immediately banned on the radio because of, if you wanted to inter interpret it that way, sexual content. And so that meant people said, oh, it's forbidden. And people bought this record like crazy and they loved it. It became an instant hit in the clubs and it was also a crossover hit. Also featured on this album is Keep On Jumping, which also became a major hit globally. Once this record was done, which featured the great Angela Hollow, Christine Wilshire, who also did co-writing on this album, the vocal arrangements, and also once again we have the great Jocelyn Brown, who is famous for working for her for Inner Life, which had a hit with One Night Love Affair, or Ain't No Mountain High Enough. So she's also one of those most sampled and used singers in music history, but she's hardly getting the credit for it 
which she absolutely deserves. I'm so happy that she had a hit on her own by the mid 80s with somebody else's guy. So this thing came so successful that in 1979, the record label and Patrick Adams decided to do a second album. The second album only produced one major hit, and that was Love Message. But why is Christine Wilshire still bitter after all these years about the cover art? Once again, German cover art, which is different from the US cover art. The US cover art features three white women in a club dancing. But once again, next to Posey, none of these women were actually the women who sang on the record. And Christine Wilshire is still a little bitter about it because she said, well, that was our kind of music, our kind of lifestyle, but they put people on these covers which weren't us. So for today, and she sang in so, she, she did work for over 300 uh, songs with Patrick Adams. She's hardly, they are known all over the world. All DJs know that. She did Weekend with um, uh, Class Action in 1983, which became a hit. But it was also already featured on Freak uh, by the late 70s, so in total there are three versions of it. But anyway, she is known from the DJs, but she's not a household name, even after all this work. And she's bitter about the decision by the record label to put some faces on it. But we have the same issue with Jocelyn Brown. If you look at the cover art from Caught Up in a, a Midnight, Caught Up in a One Night Love Affair, which was a huge club hit back then, they put a label, put a model on the cover. So they have the same issue. Anyway, it produced Love Message, wasn't a big hit, and the group pretty much ended. But what they changed on this record is they included the names of the people who sang. Well, almost. Because Christine Wilshire also were in the backing vocals, she also uh, co-wrote a song, and she also did all the arrangements. But you won't find that on the back. But anyway, here you can see the back, and they also wrote the names to the ladies. We have Mary Seymour, Denise Edwards, and Gina Taylor on the back. And look at their shoes. I would love to, to have these shoes. But anyway, front back from Mystique. In 1980, we all know how the disco areas ended somehow. The music business changed dramatically and the taste of people as well. So Mystique ended by 1980. Patrick Adams continued to do production work because, like I said, he was highly talented and a genius at the mixing desk. So he was still in demand, but unfortunately these ladies pretty much disappeared or were hired as backing vocalists in some studio sessions. So if you are looking for some great, great dance music and you have to choose between these two of you, uh, these two records, I would suggest that you buy the first one, which is for my taste, the better one. You can get this record between 5 to 10 euros or dollars. Why? Because it's been sold like crazy. And it's a very good dance record. In the Bush and Keep on Jumping became house stables. If you are going in the clubs today, I'm pretty sure if you spend the night here, you will hear a sample from one of these songs at certain times in the club. So, once again, thanks for watching. I'm wishing you guys a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy, listen to good music, maybe mystique, and I'll see you next time.